summer 2011, the Hamas Mountains engulfed by a massive plume of smoke. Sky 7 flew over the Las Conchas fire, which burned for over a month. In the end, more than 60 homes would be destroyed and nearly 250 square miles of Pueblo and Forest Service land would be scorched. That's an area almost the size of El Paso, Texas. Investigators say this all started when a tree fell onto power lines. Now, more than four years after the fire, a jury will decide whether two utility companies should be held liable. The Hamas Mountains Electric Cooperative operated the power lines while the Tri-State Generation and Transmission Association supplied the electricity. More than 300 plaintiffs have banded together to sue the two companies for property damage and other losses. They argue the companies should have removed the tree before it fell, that it was their responsibility to take all reasonable precautions to prevent forest fires. But Tri-State and the co-op argue they're only responsible for any trees within 20 feet of their lines. They say the tree that started the fire was outside that buffer zone. The companies also argue the tree was on private property and they say had no way of knowing the tree's base was rotting and in danger of falling. Now, jury selection begins tomorrow. The civil trial will play out before a Sandoval County district judge and could take up to six weeks. Back to you.